All right, welcome back, free radicals, uh, independents, uh, Tulsi Kratz, uh, disaffected and disenchanted people who are tired of the political establishment. My name is Dave, and I'm here to help represent you and us as we uh, move forward. Tulsi Gabbard for president. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of things in this video. First of all, I'm going to show people just so you know what's happening to this channel, so you understand how unfair and unjust it is. First of all, I'm not going to use any profanity in this video. I'm not going to make things up in this video. Uh, I am not from Russia. I live in Florida. And, uh, you know, if you need information uh, more specific than that, I'm probably not going to give it out. But I am an American citizen, and I support Tulsi Gabbard for president because she is the best candidate to unite the country, to end our useless uh, regime change wars, which have been going on for half a century. Okay, I I'm a little bit angry. I'm fired up. Uh, I am going to, uh, again, thank all those people who have been donating money over on uh, PayPal. It's It's been awesome. Uh, I just, I'm humbled by it. Uh, it gives me a little bit of strength uh, to see that, especially in the face of this email. So I waited, it was more than 24 hours, because I think I cut the video yesterday morning. Typically after I have coffee, I'm fairly excited and uh, would like to do a video. Uh, you know, you get energized and you want to talk uh, while you have that energy level. And this is what I get from the partners. I am supposed to be, imagine if you got this from your work. You work for a company and they send you uh, this saying that we're not going to pay you. And they, they don't give you a reason why they're not going to pay you. What they say to you is very vague and it's misleading, and quite quite honestly, it's very dishonest. After manually reviewing your video, uh, we've confirmed that it isn't suitable for all advertisers. Now, keep in mind, when they say this, it's they're not going to run ads in this video. As a result, it will continue to run limited or no ads. The video, which I believe had like 15,000 views on it, Again, I have about 5,000 subscribers, and the video had 15,000 views. Now, again, there are channels on here, uh, Kim Iverson for one, who when Kim drops a video, it can get into the hundreds of thousands. I mention her because I believe Kim Iverson is another bridge commentator that can unite people from different political factions. I would say she's probably a little bit more to the left than I am. But so far, I haven't seen anything that she's uh, done or said that is uh, out of my purview. In other words, I agree with her on pretty much everything she does. Uh, so it says, your video remains playable and is still el eligible to earn revenue. <sighs> if you have a YouTube Red subscription, I can earn a little bit of revenue. Okay. You can, but here's, here's, again... And this is what I'm up against, and so many other commentators are up against. You can find more information about our advertiser-friendly guidelines in our help center. Okay. Uh, what's missing here is the explanation as to why my video, which I believe didn't contain any profanity, uh, did not contain any misinformation, uh, was opinion-based, was, was just... Basically stating a fact, Tulsi Gabbard's campaign is on fire. Now, what I might be doing in the future is what uh, I might actually, uh, in the description box, I might say, this video is currently monetized. Because I would like you guys to go back and watch the videos that are monetized. Uh, I've seen other commentators, uh, Graham Elwood says the same thing, go and watch the videos. Uh, best thing you can do. Uh, I don't know what is so controversial about Tulsi Gabbard. 
I, I have no idea. I don't know what's controversial about me, and I don't know what's... Co- In fact, I am a very lighthearted guy uh, <laughs> compared to some of the progressive commentators who are on here dropping F-bombs, and they're either angry or, or sarcastic or very cynical, and some of them are fantastic. Some of them are great commentators. But if you're talking, if you're going to use this as your guideline, if you're going to tell people that the content isn't ad-friendly, that you're worried that your advertisers aren't going to like the content in the video, uh, then I want to know specifically which content that is so I can avoid doing that in the future. Imagine, again, your boss walks in the room. So what did I do wrong? Hello, what did, what did I do wrong? And it's just a bunch of crickets. Well, you know, I, I gave you a memo. Uh, your work has been subpar. Yeah, but what's what specifically about my work has been subpar? This is incredible. This this is some kind of Orwellian. Uh, just it's it's very Orwellian what this is. I don't I don't understand it. So let's go over to this is the page that I get. Uh, it's, it's basically your dashboard where you can kind of see your performance on videos. Now, take a look. Today I did a video called Tulsi Gabbard is 100% not guilty. All right. Kind of a little twist on the OJ thing. Uh, I, I did that and, and, and I put <coughs> a description, but I, I did three different things that she is for. And, and, or basically I described the three things that she's getting, uh, clobbered on. I'm sorry if I'm a little discombobulated here in this video. I, <laughs> I'm just fired up and I'm just tired. I mean, all I'm trying to do and all a lot of people are trying to do is take their government back. So it's, it's by and for and of the people. Of, by and for. So this video has 2,088 views. Not bad. Not bad for this channel at all. Now, the one yesterday, I said she invokes Abe Lincoln. Okay, that's monetized. You notice that. Uh, <laughs> here's an interesting thing. So I do a video specifically about how the videos are getting demonetized. They would rather let me gain revenue from talking about how the videos are getting demonetized rather than talking about issues in Tulsi Gabbard. Okay, so video I'm currently doing, it's probably going to be monetized. And the reason being is it's, I'm not talking about all the things that Tulsi Gabbard is for and how the establishment wants to lie about Tulsi Gabbard. Uh, but notice, notice the big, the big, uh, video here. This is the one I was talking about from earlier. This is the one I got the email about. Not suitable, uh, and confirmed. This is not suitable. It remains fully playable. It's got 15,000 views on it. I don't get those kind of views. Now, there is one other video that surprisingly is monetized. Now, again, I'm not complaining all the way through. This one's monetized. This one's monetized. This is the big one. This is the one that gained me a lot of subscribers. Uh, it's just wins debate number two, 36,000. All right. That's pretty good for a channel with about 5,200 subscribers, 36,000 people were searching. Tulsi was trending. She should have actually been trending more, but thanks to Twitter, which is strange because the guy at Twitter supposedly likes Tulsi Gabbard. Uh, and do you think he would talk to his staff about maybe, you know, easing up on the anti-Tulsi algorithms. So what's bothersome, again, is that I've got this work that I'm doing, and the work isn't paying. I'm not getting paid for the work I'm doing. And, and don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to make money off of Tulsi Gabbard. I'm trying to make money because I've got a deal here with YouTube. We are supposed to be partners. I am driving traffic to their site, as is everyone else who have channels. They're driving traffic, and I'm driving some pretty significant traffic to the page. Now, 
Uh, again, I'm not Ryan Toys Review. Uh, you know, it's not 2.5 million views in the first. I'm not PewDiePie. I'm not any of those types of people. I have a message, and the message is peace. The message is hope. The message is love. The message is aloha. And apparently, aloha is worthy of censorship, at least from the monetary standpoint. Again, if you go back to this, and imagine again getting a, a memo from your boss, well, your work is lousy, and uh, I'm not really going to tell you why it's lousy. It just is. And, uh, you know, I know you want to improve and correct your work, so it's better, but we're not going to tell you what you're doing wrong. We're just going to give you some vague uh, stuff. And, then, of course, yeah, you can go to the Help Center and look up those guidelines. And I've done that before, and it's a joke. Because the guidelines are the things that are essentially very arbitrary and, um, you know, pretty much dictated by the people who are doing the manual review because they never tell you what you do wrong. They've never, they never, um, send you an email saying, okay, Dave, if you want your videos to be monetized, you need to do this. Nope. Not at all. So what this is, the subject matter is is taboo. It's off limits. And you you can't be saying, for instance, I've got a hunch that this this is just gonna keep going on. By the way, you know, I've had videos completely demonetized on this channel. When I was the Save America channel, it was the same thing. And I'm sitting there going, What what did I do in that video? Alright? Uh so in any event if you could watch these video here, this is insight. If you could watch the videos that are monetized, the Abe Lincoln video, the demonetized video, I know that's not, you know, the most exciting topic. Uh, Bernie supporters, this is kind of controversial. I think Bernie supporters should switch over to Tulsi. But this one here, I mean, it's got 15,000 views. If you go watch it, it's not going to help me. You want to watch the one that's got 36,000? That's fine. That's going to keep going for a little while, I think. But uh, in any event, I wanted to give people uh, an inside look at what's happening so they don't think I'm, you know, pretending to be struggling. I'm not necessarily struggling because you folks have uh, come through, especially over on PayPal. Uh, the one-time donations over on PayPal have been mind-blowing. And anyone else who wants to help out over there, again... I will put uh, <laughs> put the address for my email in the description of this video, and then uh, do what you can. I had one person give a dollar, which is fine. I had other people give a whole lot more. You know who you are, and um, I am very grateful for that. And by the way, I think Tulsi Gabbard is probably grateful too, because I am one of the few commentators who are all in for Tulsi Gabbard. I'm not making, I'm not Bernie Sanders. You know, I've, I've talked about Bernie a little bit. Uh, Tulsi's a better choice. And, you know, we have to get to the point where I decide if, you know, Bernie ends up getting the nomination, which I don't think he's going to, uh, then I will consider Bernie Sanders. But right now, uh, Tulsi is the candidate. And this video here, where I talked about how well she was doing, they don't want people to know that her campaign is doing well. They just don't. And it's really sad. Maybe I should have chosen another word. Maybe, maybe the word which invokes an inferno. You know, I don't want to say it again. Maybe I should have, uh, used a different word. Of course, nobody told me that you couldn't use that word. I have no idea. That, that's what makes this like trying to hit a moving target and, you know, it's, and the target's always shifting and moving and you're just like, okay. What did I do wrong now? So, again, I'm not complaining. I wanted to, well, I am, but I wanted to let people know uh, that this is real, that I'm not making this stuff up. And you do the work and your boss says, nope, we're not paying you. Think about that. That's crazy. All right, I'm done. See ya.